Howdy all, how's everybody doing today? I'm the Cowboy from the Cosmos here to bring you another Risk video. So today we're going to be playing a fixed game with some folks on the Discord. I think it could be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to try and start getting into a more routine uh, uploading schedule because I haven't been doing it very much lately. So that should be interesting. Alright, so Mr. Fed Bull did not ready up. We have to restart the game over that. I don't know, we'll see I guess. Guess not, okay. So we are black player. And this is fixed, so I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm, where do I have some good positioning? See, I have like good positioning in the uh, Appalachian Highlands, I think that's how you say them. I'm not American, I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna try and go for this top continent actually. So we're just going to basically forcefully take it, if possible. Playing fixed on this map is interesting, but should be fun. Ooh, white, please attack that. I'd really like for you to attack that. No, you're not. That's unfortunate. The more things that... Ah, uh, my opponents can attack the more stacks of each other they hit, the better for me, so. If they can hit lots of stacks, I'm all for it. If I see my opponents getting too good of bonuses, I can use my 6 combined if the 2 to make a 7 and break some stuff over there. Kind of surprised that White's going for that continent all the way over there, and not for um, the Southwest. All right, General Stinger's doing something. So him and White are going to be fighting it out. That's good. Um, I like to know that Plateosaurus and Stinger are dueling. The AI is also... Oh, no, that's not the AI. Uh, Red's the AI, my bad. So part Pink's also putting in his like energy over there. That is very fun. I like that a lot. The AI, meanwhile, is probably going to go for a continent somewhere. Yeah, okay. That sucks. Whatever. So I'm trying to think here what I can do. I don't think there's any particular things. I'm going to drive the AI out of there. And then just move my six up. And I should be good for the moment. Got to note it from something. It's just the weather. Okay. So right now we're just waiting to see what everyone's plays are. Um, everyone's probably all like, well, fuck. Because <laughs> they're all stuck in this weird staring contest. I'm probably going to lose my two over there. It sucks, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. Although I have lost a few of my like mini stacks already. So kind of sucky, but whatever. The AI I don't think will break my continent. I think it would have to be kind of stupid to do that. Maybe it does. Yep, there goes my two. He lost some troops to it, so I'm happy for that. In fixed, the, lo the more troops these guys grind down of themselves before they start like making more troops than they're losing, the better. So like, see, orange here now is going to be fighting with pink. Pink will probably leave, though, if he's smart. Also, wow, I think he wanted to try and break me, but I'm just going to hit him with a thanks, I think, because now I can bring my four up there and take the second continent. If red doesn't block me, I don't know if he will. Or it, I guess, because it is an AI. Oh, is Duncan going to break me? No, he's not. Okay. I will have to hit him with a thanks for not. Well, actually, I won't. I don't want him to even think that was something he could do. Wow, this red eye is really hurting my feelings here. That was like unneeded. <laughs> well then, is this a one? It's a plus one. That is ass. Wow, okay. So I think we'll make this three and eight. Break down there. Keep that army alive. And we'll move that into a 7. 
Do we have a 10 match? We do not. We don't have any match at all. So I think white player may be going for the southwest now. I think he's given up on the top area. That's fine. No, so he's still challenging for the top area. Okay. That, in my opinion, was a mistake. Because these guys are going to grind each other down to, like, no troops left. My biggest threat's the AI right now, actually. Because the AI has the potential to fuck me up. <laughs> so let's see what the orange is getting up to. Okay. I don't really know why he did that. But alright. Uh, thanks, man. Was he just trying to get his troops out of there? I don't know if he should have done that, but... I mean, I guess that's a way to get your troops out of there. I can't really argue with that being a way. I can just say that's not the way I would have chosen if I were in that situation. Let's hope the AI doesn't have a 10 match on 3. Now, I mean, this is definitely not at all true, but I have this, like, little theory that in fixed, you're more likely to get 10 match, like, to get a one of each kind match on 3 than you are when you're playing prog. Because I find that usually in fixed, it happens. It almost never does in prog. It's obviously not true, but I, I like to pretend it is. Cause it's kind of funny. So I think we're going to break this big AI stack because I kind of want to just get out of my face before I um, inevitably lose more troops to the AI. Okay, we do have the 10 match on 4, that's good. But yeah, because I'm thinking the AI may match in or may just use that big bonus of this and cuck me. I mean, it's plus 3, it's not that bad, but still way more than what I have because I have a plus 1. But it'll be plus 3 once I take this other continent. White, are you really just challenging orange? Are you guys really just going at each other there? It's just an odd, like... Like, I haven't seen that happen in a long time, especially not in a Discord game. <laughs> These guys really want that, that side content. I mean, fair game to you. You know what? If you guys can get that side content, you get him, Tiger, but... Oh, is Orange... Okay, so Orange is deciding that he doesn't want to die on that hill, and he's going to leave. I respect that. That is a good play. What's Pink's goal here? Is he trying to just not get his stuff on that side, like, crunched by the A? Oh, no, dude. Oh no, is he going to hit me real hard here? Like, cuck me? He's probably going to break my bonus and shit. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. Hell yeah, okay. So, I need to kind of keep it off of my dick. Otherwise, I die. <laughs> is basically the idea here. It doesn't have a match now. So, what? It can put all six of its troops in that four, make it a ten and hit me if it really wants? Someone's asking me how the bot left me alone. Okay, so I'll explain that then. And, um, basically, the reason the AI left me alone, because what I found they usually tend to do, is if they, because they do have an attack limit each turn, right? I find that they only make so many attacks per turn. So it may have hit the attack limit, but what I think is a more likely answer is if the AI um, has troops, even if it could theoretically break you and like under normal situations it would, it would prefer guarding itself over just fucking with you, you know? Orange, please don't punch my seven, bro. I will back off.
This is going to be a tough game to win for sure. This is not an easy one. Two infantry means I have to wait a minimum of two more turns. Getting both a cavalry and a cannon. Okay. Pink's taking that continent. Interesting. Sweet. Yeah, it doesn't fuck me up. Okay. So what I think we'll do is we will now break the AI. Like that. And then I'm going to move out of there. You might be wondering, why am I breaking the AI? Well, you see the AI, I either break it or it's going to break me eventually, right? If it has the 10 match on 3, I might be fucked though. But... I don't know. White is gaining quite powerful, but pink is the strongest. Because pink's been left alone all game. And they also have a big continent now. So I'm hoping me and pink can get along, but there's no alliances. So I can't reason with him on that. Like, I can't be like, hey, we can work together here. Kind of amazing how even if me or even if me slamming two of the AI's big stacks so far, it still managed to have as many troops as me because I've had my stuff munched by orange. And by no, I think it was only orange actually who broke my big shit. Hey orange, please don't break me. Can you just like break get your continent? Cool stuff. I feel like pink is gonna feel more threatened by uh, what's it called? By orange than me? Okay. He uses 18. Respectable. Wow. Another match in. Is he gonna break pink? No, it's just chilling out. Okay. Well, then I have to um, break the AI again, right? Because I really don't want the AI getting so strong that it just overpowers me eventually. So I kind of have to just keep breaking it for right now. We have a 10 match. Okay, so we did get lucky. That's a good position to put us in. So the AI has no match. Pink could match in. But I consider it unlikely that either of these three will. The odds are always against players having a match on three. It's like a 33% chance or some shit like that. Or like 37 or something I've heard. It's something along those lines. I forget exactly. I haven't looked at the um, stats for a while. And then it's like an 80% chance of a match on four. So, you know. All right, let's see what Mr. Orange decides to do with his big put-in. Is he going to break white? No, okay, so he's fortifying himself. Fair enough, I respect that. That's a good play. So these guys are all growing, m like, massively strong compared to me. So I think I need to kind of take a sideline on breaking people for a little while. Like breaking the AI and just chilling out. Because even though, yeah, it's very important for me, I keep doing it. I'm kind of falling. <clears throat> I'm kind of falling behind because of it. Okay, so I want to run away from the AI a little bit, but I don't really have a place to go. Hey, it didn't take back its continent. That's kind of cool. But it got in the way of me leaving it. Motherfucker. Well. Hmm. What do I do then? No clue. Make that like a 14. That a 16. And I'll break.
break over here because I don't really have a choice. I hope you do not take that personally, Orange. I just literally have nowhere else to go. If my stuff gets punched out of that half of the map, I'm looking to be in a bad spot. You know, white could leave their borders as just tens and use like the excess troops on their 18 and 14 to make a separate army that could go somewhere. Oh, dude, are you serious, really? And it wasn't a bad move on Orange's part. Because now it forces me away from them. But it just kind of sucks because it's like. It wasn't really required and it really hurts. Okay. Oh, he's killing the AI. Alright. No, wait. So he's just mildly annoying the AI. Maybe I killed the AI then. Let's see. 22 for all of that. Unlikely, and the payoff wouldn't be actually worth the investment into killing the AI. So, what do I do? Let's see if we can just do this for a bit of territory grab. It's not like me actually trying to take the continent, just more so me being like, Yeah, we can get some territories, why not? Even though it doesn't put me over the 12 count. I need to do a bit of expanding at least. I have the 10 match on 3 which is valuable to me. Okay I kind of feel what White's doing here. He wants to get that other continent. You know depending on how or depending what Pink does I might get the this little Midwest area. I doubt I would, but it'd be kind of cool if I did. Problem is, I'm just so far behind. I have 41 troops, and Pink will have 64 and counting. 60, he'll have 70 on his turn, because he has 6 troops. Reinforcement. I think this game will eventually be decided by whoever decides to mash into the other. Okay, so he does take out the AI. Well played. Please don't fuck me in the process, dude. You can't kill me. Yeah, thank you. All right. Is that a 15? Is that a 20? And this a 14? We'll break and just chill there. Okay, so white takes that continent. Now, pink has a take on me, actually, that doesn't break me, and I'm hoping they decide that's the play. I'm hoping they think that's fun. I'm curious what orange will do, though. Maybe it is a mistake letting, me hold, letting them hold Heartland because of how far they are ahead, but truly, I don't have the resources to do anything about it. Yeah, I think Pink is a new target. I think he's not going to do anything to me now. I was thinking Orange would probably break Pink because Pink had the least ability to counter it. Please don't break me, Pink. I'm trying to recover, bro. You can just take back your shit. Leave me of mine. I'm going to break Orange. 
Yeah, bring your big army down there. I'm, I'm not hurting you. I, I'll just get cards in this little continent. I won't hurt anyone. I'll play nice. Well, okay. The reason I'm not going for a capture there is A, I don't think anyone will let me hold it. B, those are three free cards I get for just taking territory slowly. And I'd rather spend as much time as possible before I piss off pink. Because pink and me can currently be friends. But I have to go through them if I want to get cards afterwards. Also, I just realized that my stats turned off for a moment there. No clue why. Okay. Lloyd breaks and then retreats back. I expect their best territory would be going on the center. Of, I can't explain it without zooming in. But. Okay, so Orange is pissed off. Orange, you're going to lose this game if you just nonsensically slam into people. Okay, so I think Pink has plenty of things to break without me attacking me. Maybe he'll do it. The kind of why can't we be friends idea, right? Cool, so we're friendly. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. First off, we'll make that 20 as well. Make that a 6. Break there. Bring that up there. So Pink's doing something very interesting, which I like his play. Is he setting up a potential card lock on white? slash forcing white to do dirty work for him because what's happening now is as long as orange doesn't attack white there white no longer has any territories to take and orange won't so white now can't actually make any moves besides attack orange's big stack oh here we go okay orange is really going against pink there but he still has white in the card lock state. I think his best move would have been moving his stack away from white. Because depending on the player white is, if he has a 10 match in or not, he may just decide to uh, pummel orange a bit. Oh, okay. He's no longer card lock because pink unlocked him. And hey, I pulled to the top troops for sitting here and doing absolutely fucking nothing for the last few turns. <laughs> That's exactly what we like to see, boys. Exactly what we like to see. I have done nothing the entire game but just sit here and fight the AI earlier on. And I'm fine to keep doing that. I'm just vibing, dude. I, I am just having a good time. Do we have a match? We do not. So are you going to go break pink some more? He is. How badly. Please don't break me, Orange. I've been friendly. <gasps> Yay, Orange. You're very kind. <laughs> You're not just messing me up. I appreciate it, man. Okay. Oh, well. Pink is coming through me. Reclaiming some of his stuff. That's fine. In fact, I kind of prefer that because it gets this big fucking army away from me. Which I didn't really like that it was there. Like, because it was just sitting next to me the whole time. And now he's kind of like blocked off from just directly fucking with me, right? So. What order do we want to go in? This order. Okay. Now we'll move this back 
one space. And this is part of a bigger plan. So the idea here is I can then move my 20 over to my 36 because my 20 doesn't need the guard anymore because I have the counterattack army, right? So rather than just a direct army to fuck you up on the border so you can't enter, if they break me, oh well. I have the most troops now, but I have a counterattack army to reclaim later. So I'm going to get the 20 from New England, I think it's... Yeah, New England. The one on the border of New England over to my 36. And that 20 I just moved up is now serving as the protector of both continents, in a sense. Because if you attack either one, however you slice it, you're going to have a um, dispute, I guess is the word. And I mean, hey, if if he break if Pink breaks me right now, then I'll slam it, or I'll have the resources to fuck him up anyway, right? So is he gonna break White again? No, he's ch oh, he's taking on Orange, but all he's doing is just game ruining him and Orange himself. That wasn't a very good move. I don't know if I agree to that. In all seriousness. But oh well, I guess. Oh, we have to match, right? Bring in the 10. Hell yeah. Get our easy take there. And then I'll bring this 20 up there. And we have a big 70 now. That's able to attack stuff. Yeah. Oh, scared face. Now you Now you realize that. This is where I make my comeback of sorts. So let's see if Orange gets killed by White. If he doesn't, then he might get killed by Pink, depending on what he does next. So he doesn't, okay. And I think that was a good move from White to not kill Orange, because he'd leave himself super weak, and I could probably sweep up both of them in one turn. So White, are you going to keep yourself in the game by breaking shit, or are you going to just take one territory and calm down? And pray that you get forgiven. Okay, you might die here. Depending on Pink's recklessness, you might just die. Pink breaks. Okay, so Pink has my counterattack army to worry about now, though, right? Oh! He just gets his easy take of the turn. Very interesting. Didn't see that one coming. Alright. I can play ball. Move my 70 up there. I think next turn I'd like to at least move my, um, what's it called? I'd like to move my 81 down a territory. So if he can break one, or if he can attack one of my territories I don't give a shit about, I'd be vibing with that. We have the big match. That's good. That's good. I'm really liking my position on the board now because I've been very passive for everyone. I've been getting along nicely with Pink. I've been broken him once. We've been just kind of trading. Hopefully he knows that he needs to take one of my territories or else I'm going to force to break him. Hopefully he kind of sees that reality needed to happen. We pull back. He does. Okay, so he gets this board balance and he understands that I need... An exit. So, I will put four troops there, the rest there. Punch down one, bring the 81 down one, and that's a good spot. I like that. Because this way just guards more of my continent without, like, dying. If Orange thinks he's dead, no, I'm not going to kill Orange. That would be a dumb move. Because the gain I get from it is heavily outweighed by the loss I take from it. Okay. White's doing fine. Honestly, Orange is in a very bad position, though. After getting attacked by Pink so heavily, which was a good move from Pink, because White or Orange has left him alone some... Or... Okay. Restart sentence. Orange is in a bad position... Because ever since Pink slammed into him with that smaller army, he's been very weak. But it was a good move from Pink, because now Orange has left him alone since that event. 
because Orange doesn't want to get killed. But Orange needs to start breaking Pink, or else the balance of the game eventually shifts to Pink's favor. And on top of that, he doesn't have the resources to fight White. He has the resources to fight Pink. Like, Pink can't immediately clap him, because the reinforcement wouldn't be as big, because he would have broken some stuff. But he's not breaking anything, so the reinforcement is just too big, and he's just going to die. And then where do we go? And then what happens? Okay. I kind of wish he would have broken um, somewhere else, but that's fine. We'll pull this out. The only reason, I wish he broke the three, in my opinion. I think it would have been better for us both. Um, but whatever. Do we have another match? We don't. If I was white, I would leave that 18 there. Because then you're really forcing Orange to do something. Because right now Orange is getting his easy out and staying friendly with Pink. Which staying friendly with Pink has its downsides too, right? Because by staying friendly with Pink, he's just kind of letting Pink get to the strongest position on the board. And eventually Pink will be more powerful than me. Which I'm only this strong because Pink decided to start wars and, you know... Just actually, we'll move this up here. We'll see if he can, if he'll decide to take that territory. Cause I'd really rather he did. <laughs> but maybe he punches the three anyway for some fucking reason. I don't know. Do we have a match? We do. I hope this game doesn't take much longer, but it seems that the board's hit a state now where no one wants to do anything. And that really sucks ass. Because it might be forced upon me to make some action happen. While I still have that power. But white kind of did, in a sense. Okay, so pink is... Or orange is terrified of fucking white. Orange is terrified of white. Or not of white, of pink. I'm sorry. Okay, so pink really didn't like that. He really wanted me to go away. Well, what I might do here, make that a 30. I think I need to force some action on this damn field. I think the game won't end if I don't. So I'm going to break here. And bring like 30 troops up there. We'll see what he does with that. Yeah, he's saying well played because that's a big ass counterattack army, right? It's easier that 50 over there. And I was like, well, I'm not about to lose all that. Only problem is my 88's walled in now. So if something crazy happens, I don't get to partake. So I think white's going to try and lock off orange. Yeah. And he's moving troops over there to assist in the lock. Very well played. That makes sense. What's weird though is because I broke pink, orange will just go in into that continent now, right? Like that would make the logical sense. Would be going there. Yeah, because pink doesn't own it, so pink won't get mad at orange. Makes sense. Yeah, Pink's trying to figure out what to do. He's like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Does he break me? Okay. Is he going to do something stupid? Wow. Are you really going to throw our game, dude? Are you seriously throwing our game? <sighs> well, you know what? No. I don't like getting pushed around. Quite frankly, it pisses me off. When people try and swing their dick like that. 
Sit down. I'm not playing these pussy games, okay, bud? If you're gonna smack- yeah, yeah. You give me the surprised face? Because if you're gonna come in here and try and act all big and act like you can fight me for that- No, 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 no. You could have retaken your continent and we could have chilled out, but... I guess I needed to punch into you then, so... You went from being one of the strongest to one of the weakest. I hope you're happy with yourself, friend. The reason I also did that is because White only has a 20 troop lead, which doesn't mean that he wins the entire game. You know? He, like, he's not so strong that he's just guaranteed one now. But he could get there if we continue to let him hold all those continents. Is he really going to mindlessly just break me now? Just out of annoyance? Because that wouldn't really make much tactical sense. Yeah, okay. He is. That just doesn't make any sense. Like, that's just not a very good play. Because the problem with what he's doing is, is that he's just making himself ridiculously weaker. Actually, no, I'll leave that blocked. So we punch around to this big army. I'm going to knock him out of this half of the world, I think. Orange is spamming good luck, okay. Oh, is Orange going to kill Pink now? Good move on White's part. He's now initiated a lock on um, Orange. So Orange literally has to punch that 50 now or use a tiny ass army to punch something like irrelevant. Yep, he's punching the 50. So is he killing Pink? Probably. Oh. Don't manual that. You need to do Blitz Slider if you're trying to kill a big stack. You Blitz Slider and like use like, I argue like t a tenth of your troops at a time. And you can like mash down on it as many times as you want. Because a manual roll, that doesn't do anything for you. Like, what's the point of that? Yeah, you just kind of, you did like what? Six troop damage and lost like six troops and that's about it. Yeah, Pink's kind of kind of having a little bit of a rage. Okay, friend. How about I tell you that I don't like your threats very much. And I think that you decide to continue them. You may have to perish. That 80 army is an open lane to attack you, friend. I don't want to kill... Pink, I should say, because if I do, I'm in a bad spot because I get very weak from it. But I also may not have a choice. What I really need right now is for White to do something because I made my move and I've definitely tried to bring this like game less out of a stalemate. But it's just not going anywhere. White's not doing anything, right? Which is kind of, kind of lame. Really, I think it's a lot more fun when all the players kind of work towards getting shit done. So, like, if White got his big army and started chipping away at Orange with Blitz Slider, or he started helping me finish off Pink, or even attacking me, I just do something that gets this game to fucking end. Don't just, like, sit there with your big stack doing nothing. It sucks ass. Okay, is he going for a kill or a continent? Neither. Duncan, are you really gonna are you really gonna break my continents, dude? Just to just to have some weird revenge. Ah. <sighs> It just doesn't make any sense, though. though. It's, like, not even a good play, right? Because you just leave yourself. 
incredibly weak. Oh, I'm forced to match in, right? You know what? Here's what we'll do. We'll break both of his consonants first off. Hell, we'll even retake ours. And then we'll just smash into in there. And we'll bring ourselves back around. And now we're not going to kill him, necessarily, but this is my... Hey, dude. You're literally on your, like, dying legs here. Do you really want your last action to be that? Orange is getting something done, but I think we all lose now. Because Pink's trapped within himself, and he only targets me. And White's got into a very strong point. Although, I could debatably kill White. Let's see, 95? Yeah, I probably could, actually. But then Pink wins, right? Depending on what Pink does. You know what? If Pink is smart, he won't, like, smash into my 80. And instead, he'll kind of mellow out for the turn. And what I'll do is I will try and finish White off. Or at least not finish him off, but definitely hurt him a lot. I'm glad he's doing something. The problem is I just don't know if it was the correct thing to do. Yeah, he's breaking me. Okay, so he's initiating war on us both. Pink, if you're smart, you're going to start. You'll break, get down into that continent, and you'll fortify out of there. You'll get your take and leave. Because if you smash into me, we just both lose. Guaranteed. But we have a chance to both come back out of this. Because we need to stand together here. Hey, he's smart. Okay. I appreciate it, Pink. Alright, cool. I will do my part to chip on white. But first, let me come through here, break this, come down here. We're just going to mess up white across the whole board here until we're about even of everyone else. I'm not here to kill white. I should specify that. Because I think that's a strategically incorrect play. But I think the correct play is dancing around the board a bit, punching a bunch of shit, so that we're all around equal troop size. But I'm higher. I have 30 troops more than white does, right? So yeah, even if this match, he's very weak now. What does he decide to do? He can't kill pink, because he doesn't have any single collection of troops. Unless he used the 18 to weaken, added everything to 24, cycled around. It would be unlikely is the point. He may just try and break me and just go for like just punching me a bunch. Which could make sense, but I may actually kill white question mark. I'm thinking here. Would it be a good play to? Regardless of what I do, I have to break white for sure. Now, it depends what pink lets me hold. So, white does not want to die, but I can work with that. In fact, I think I kill what the strategically correct play here is, I think. So, I take my 10 match, I kill pink. And like, we'll see what damage pink does to me, right? But I think I might want to kill pink. And then, I just leave white trapped. And in one turn, I'll have enough troops to fight back against white. Yeah, pink's weakening himself a lot. Sending himself out. Okay. So, let me do my play here. Ten troops there. That there. Oh, wow, those are really good rolls. Okay. So now we finish off pink, get a force match. We've killed him now. We get our force match in. Four troops there. If 
5 of there, 18 of there. Break, break, split, break, 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 break. Fail to break, that's fine. Just chill up here. White can't match, and I think that's GG. Because I don't think he can possibly take enough territories to win. Like, at most, he can break, what, two, three consonants? Okay, so he's going to try the two on one odds. I think that was the wrong break to take, but go for it. Yep, you lose. Good game, White. That was a tough one, but I'm glad it came to an explosive end there. So we can end this match off. That was a fun one. Um, thank you all for playing, for those who were in the game. Thank you all for watching. And GG. So, until the next video, everybody. Thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Peace out, everyone.